So we got a new pair of glasses. It's the first pair of glasses that I've gotten in like a decade that I actually feel okay with wearing. They're like my first pair of glasses. They're wire frames. They fit okay. But yeah, that's, that's a new change. I've, I've been sick for the past week and so my voice is still a bit bleh, from the coughing and whatnot. <clears throat> Which is one reason why I haven't been making many videos. Also, yeah, I just come kind of reading anim uh, reading manga and watching anime. I almost said that backwards. Oh well. I've been enjoying the show Plan Planetess. It's really nice. And I think I might finally finish Ghost in the Shell. And I have the manga for both of those two that I need to finish. So that'd be pretty nice. But I've also been keeping busy cleaning up a lot. I woke up this morning and my voice is all kind of nice. But then I started coughing a lot. Oh well. That's kind of what happens. So I moved the pile of lumber that was here and all the other junk. We're going to be selling that at the antique shop. I'm going to be selling that and that. My mother thinks that'll sell. I don't know. And I moved all the lumber over to the other lumber rack. And I think any lumber that I don't need, I'm just going to burn. Because I, I do have a surfeit of, of lumber. Might be nice to add some nice wood to this because the issue I'm having is a lot of this wood is not treated or anything and so it's already starting to rot but I've been using the the backyard you know like I I, I still sometimes accidentally call this the backyard but I'm trying to call this the middle yard so I'm using the backyard as a place to hold junk so the so the middle yard looks nicer because all this stuff is going to gonna go in the trash. For one of my Patreon videos, I actually made a hot wire cutter and I was, a I was able to cut a bunch of this stuff into smaller chunks so I can throw it away. Unfortunately, that kind of started my, my week of being sick, actually more than a week, like nine days of being sick, kind of started off with a really, started off with a bang because basically I spent like four hours breathing in plastic smoke from the hot wire cutter while I was cutting all that plastic and that just gave me such a fucking horrible sore throat that kind of just stuck with me for like five days. So that was a bad idea, but oh well. It's just because there was no wind that day and I was already starting to get sick and just kind of like accelerated everything and made everything really worse. What I think we should do is we should do the last mow of the year because I think the tank's getting about empty. It's going to be going less efficiently now that it's cold because like for instance if I if I try to run this whenever it's freezing outside which right now it's a little bit getting close to freezing then the gas will contract to where it won't actually have any pressure to put the propane into the engine so I need to do it on a warm-ish day or I need to warm up the propane I don't know about that I don't like, I don't know, about, I, I don't really feel okay with starting a fire underneath the propane tank. Sounds like a bad idea. Oh, one more thing. So I have all these batteries, and honestly, I'm so sick and fucking tired of lead acid batteries. I think I'm just going to scrap them all. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll keep that one. Because that was the one that kind of got me all those views, is from that one video. Those still seem fine. So I keep this eight, nine, ten. I'll keep that one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So what I think I'll do is I'll keep maybe three or four, just for experiments. Like if I want to try to start that that little engine there or whatever, or if I want to weld with them. But I'm not going to keep the very good ones. I, I'm not going to keep the very bad ones. Blech. You know what I mean. And I think I'll probably keep this one over here, which is, which is the one that is from that video that got me like a million and a half views. You know, just because it's kind of like a little bit of memorabilia from that most popular video. You know, I don't think I'm going to mess with this poison ivy right now. I just, I really don't feel like dealing with it because when I do, I'll probably put like a hazmat suit type thing on. Yes, I'm just going to keep mowing around it. 
So I've actually increased the amount of things that I'm going through and throwing away. So I'm continuing to try and keep the, the trash can full of stuff. But then I've also started filling up a container for my mother to take to her warehouse and throw in the dumpster. So like a container about this size, not that actual container, but about that. And I'll just put like bits of metal and stuff from the, from the backyard that I don't want anymore. I mean, it's all stuff I can put into the trash. It's just, it's more of a matter of capacity. Just not, not having enough trash can space to deal with all the stuff I'm throwing away. I've mostly been focusing on the backyard and storage unit because I'm getting close to the point now where I can actually enact the next stage of cleaning. So what I want to do is I want to get a bunch of room open in one of the storage units and then just move a bunch of shit from the basement up into the storage unit. A bunch of like all the stuff, my equipment and whatnot. And that'll give me enough room to cut up that old metal tank in the basement. So that opened up a bunch of room. Then me and my mother can go through some other stuff down there. Like there's bits of lumber that are rotting down there on the ledge. And we, because there's so much stuff down there, we can't move that lumber out. And there's mold on the, on the beams and stuff like that. So it would be a good chance for us to clean out extra stuff. Work on the concrete, because the concrete has some cracks and whatnot. And then work on the wood in the house to make sure the wood is all nice and clean and make sure everything is okay with that. And then after that, I can start moving everything back into the basement. And I should end up with twice the space and a much better organizational pattern. You know what I mean? And then after that, I want to use that same space open up in, in, the, um, in the storage unit to, to remove these tarp sheds because those are like a decade old and <clears throat> talk my voice and they're really falling apart a, a lot of the stuff in there I actually think I could probably sell at the antique shop so that'll be a bit slow but by the time I'm done with the basement I'll probably have a lot of room open up in there and so a lot of that junk can go into the storage unit and I don't know I might, might not even have tarp sheds there anymore but we can figure that out when we when we get to it. Oh, I almost forgot. My solar battery system finally died. I came out and it smelled like rotten eggs. So, of course, that means it's overcharging. And the batteries were at 6 volts. So, you know what? I'm just fucking done with lead acid. And I'm going to use some of those Nissan Leaf cells to make a, a nice battery system. Well, let's mow the yard. Because, yeah, it's the last mow of the year. Oh crap, I forgot why I didn't do it last week. I had to fix the lawnmower. Belt came off. Ah, oh, there we go. forgetting about these.
battery died, but that's good enough. You guys are bugging me for like a backyard maintenance cleaning video, so there you go. That's mowing, last mowing of 2017. And there we have it. I made a video, so now I don't feel like I'm too much of a hikikomori. I can go back to reading manga. Planetess has really captured my imagination as of late. I'm really enjoying it. I have volume two coming in of the, the omnibus, not the uh, original ones, of course, this. And I'm really enjoying reading this. The anime was great. I still need to finish Ghost in the Shell, so I think after this I'll probably go and finally read the rest of Ghost in the Shell. I'm thinking maybe after this I might buy the Akira manga, because I really like the Akira movie and I've heard that the manga actually goes a lot further. But right now, this has kind of captured my imagination. Which is kind of funny, like, whenever a project or a story captures my imagination, it's very hard to focus on a video. And so, any videos that I do make, they can become kind of systematic and, I guess you could say, soulless? I don't know. Oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.